This news update is brought to you by Grab somebody and tell them hello July 21, time for your Barbados Day Evening Update. I'm Kmart Jordan. Good evening. We begin with news from the crop over scene. Hee Haw will be the first out of the blocks when the MQI Pick of the Crop Finals comes off on Saturday, August 1 at the Kensington Oval. The finalists drew for positions today at the MQI's showroom in Wilde St. Michael. Hee Haw tells Barbados today, though the number one spot is not always ideal, he's ready to give it his best shot. Defending monarch Ian Webster will perform at number five, Crystal Cummins Beckles will be the first of the three females to perform, coming at position number three. The full order in which the finalists will appear is as follows He Hall, Adrian Clark, Crystal Cummins Beckles, Biggie Irie, Ian Webster, Ina Baum, Adonijah, Donella, Classic, and Colin Spencer. This is me being the finals now. I'm really excited about it. I pulled number nine, but I changed with Classic. So okay. he's at nine, I'm at four. Okay. Tell me how our preparation is coming for the final. Pretty good. Um, I haven't rehearsed. Rehearsal start next week. So, I'm ready. I'm fine with it. I, you I'll go change. change my best. Initially, I wanted to change. However, this voice in my head spoke to me and said, no, go. Go okay. do it. Because everything happens for a reason. I've never changed numbers since I've been in competition. I didn't see where to start. Where I had to start. Right, no. <laughs> In other news this Tuesday, the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry warns that the continuing go slow at the island's ports of entry is bad for business and consumers will soon feel the pinch. In a strong statement calling for an end to the impasse between the Barbados Revenue Authority and this country's two major trade unions, the Chamber cautioned that Barbadians could be made to pay more as a result of the action. It further warned that employment and the distribution of food and other supplies to the general public could be in jeopardy. The BCCI is calling on both parties to seek a resolution through consultation and negotiation and has offered its assistance to bring the two sides together. Meantime, the Ministry of Health is repositioning itself to ensure the country can better respond to escalating health challenges and emerging new threats. Word of this from Health Minister John Boyce as he opened a three-day national capacity building workshop today. Noting that Barbados is trying to cope with the rapid rise of non-communicable diseases and at the same time tackle infections like chikungunya, he insists there's more, no room for the country to let down its guard. The challenge for the Ministry of Health is to ensure that enough attention is paid to NCDs while still being flexible enough to respond to new and emerging trends such as chikungunya, Ebola and MERS. Only recently, Barbados, for instance, experienced a 6.4 magnitude earthquake off the north coast of the island. A health system, therefore, must be ready and flexible enough to respond to any eventuality in order to ensure that the population is safe and secure. Industry and Commerce Minister Donville Innes tells regional farmers and other players in the agricultural sector not to hold back despite a new law which could threaten their trade with the United States. Regional officials are now meeting in Barbados to discuss the U.S. Food Modernization Act, which outlines strict measures to ensure food safety. In his told the gathering, there are significant opportunities in the export market for goods and services outside the region, and they should use the new law to their benefit. He suggests it will help to equip players at all stages of the agricultural production sector to deliver better quality goods for local consumption and for export. Whether I buy Dominican fruits in Miami or New York, or I get items from Ghana in the U.S. market or wherever. It must be of the same quality as I get right here in the region. If we start to think of ourselves as second-rate citizens, then we only get what comes to us in that thought process. And I believe that what the U.S. government is offering, what President Obama did in 2011, is indeed an opportunity for us to pull ourselves up by a bootstrap, to take advantage of all the training opportunities that are available to ensure that we produce the highest quality goods uh, here in this region for us to consume, 
and to so freely share with the rest of the world. Barbadians heading to Canada will have to follow new travel restrictions and regulations from next year. From March 15, it will be mandatory for Barbadians traveling to Ottawa to obtain an electronic travel authorization. The application must be submitted online and it will be available from August 1, 2015. There's regional and international news after this short break. Our valued partners for the BT Crockover Superstar Competition, Flow, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media, and Liberty Store. More than 5.8 million people have registered to vote in Haiti's elections later this year. The National Identification Office says the general electoral roll sent to the Provisional Electoral Council, that's the CEP, has an increase of just over 1 million voters compared to the last elections. The three rounds of elections will begin on August 9 for a new parliament with more than 2,000 candidates. Electoral officials also disclosed that the national identification cards are being prepared and more than 349 offices have been set up around the country to distribute those cards. On the world front, strike action is set to hit two major United States airports tomorrow. Some security workers and baggage handlers at New York's JFK and LaGuardia airports are planning to walk off the job crippling travel. Workers voted to strike, claiming that their employer had threatened to fire them for organizing for higher wages and benefits. Meantime, airlines are rushing out to put contingency plans in place. Delta Airlines says it will be taking measures to ensure that its more than 35,000 customers booked through LaGuardia are not affected, while a spokesman for United Continental Holdings, Inc. says similar measures are being put in place. Well, let's hope there's not too much destruction and disruption there. Well, that's our evening update. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper, our email updates, or better yet, you can like us on Facebook. You can also catch us if you're moving around Barbados this evening on Izumi Media in a bus terminal or screenplay at a supermarket or a gas station near you. Also tune in to Channel 101, that's on Lime TV, or Mix 96.9 FM for all the latest news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Remember, it's wet out there, so please be safe. Our valued partners for the BT Crockover Superstar Competition, Flow, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media, and Liberty Store.